Hi guys, WNews.com and I'm here with the iPad mini and a game called Shadow Blade. The game was recently launched and it's a platform game where you can jump, climb, attack and control a ninja. It comes from the famous company Crescent Moon Games. It's a very easy game and you can opt for the gesture or joystick control. You can do double jumps, you press on the B button to jump and you press on the A button to attack and you have two arrows for left and right. So the basic platformer you collect these little light orbs and you stay away from traps. The game is so easy that I actually finished it all in about 2 hours of course minus the special challenge levels. As you can see I just slice the guy and there's normal slicing and aside from the normal slicing you can also do some special combos. So if you run and slice there's a special move. This one is a checkpoint that you can see right here. It's a very appealing game and the Asian elements are very nicely implemented. It's a sort of platformer that feels like you're back in the days when this genre was popular. And it works just fine on the iPad mini, obviously there's no lag. And of course the graphics are not even high-end enough to start a lag. I just collected a special symbol and I have to stay away from the traps just a little bit longer. As I said the game is pretty easy and I just did a cute wall jump to enemies to hit here. These are the easier enemies. You'll see guys later on that will uh, use flamethrowers against you, snipers and all that. You get these stars, like you get those stars in Angry Birds for various objectives like uh, taking all the orbs, taking all the symbols and completing the level in a certain amount of time. This, as I said, is a very easy game to play and there are also boss battles, which is basically a collection of ways of enemies that will attack you. This is one of the boss battles. And they already killed me. Okay, so this is wave one. We can also take the enemy towards you using a special uh, throwable item. Sort of like the one that Scorpion uses in Mortal Kombat. This one is a sniper that's on top of me and I'm going to have to deal with him. But I'm going to have to avoid the trap here. Okay, I guess the timing was not right. So as you can see, they don't call them boss battles for nothing. And by the way, if you use your attack button while you're in mid-jump, you're going to do a combo like this. Or simply fly away. It's a lot harder when there are actually traps, aside from the enemies. Okay, now I figured it out, how to kill the sniper. Here we go. Be careful so you won't get shot by the sniper. And here we are. And the sniper is dead. That was wave 1. And now we're bracing for level 2. Wave 2 of the boss battle. A lot of blood here. But it's uh, a lighter shade of red. So I guess we can uh, stomach it. That is a missile that keeps following us. And it's very very hard to stay away from it. This is one of the harder boss battles. And that was wave 2, now time for wave 3. As you can see I played the game a lot, it takes a lot of dexterity but it's also a very easy game so you get used to it in no time. Two snipers following me right now and the trap got me finally. At least there's a sort of a checkpoint so I start from level 3, wave 3, there's a lot of tapping like in the good old platformers. It would be nice if the character had other weapons and other attacks, aside from the basic ones. And let's move to another level. This is a fast-paced platformer, I'll give it that much. The graphics are actually pretty nice. There's also a hardcore section once you finish all the three storyline levels. The enemies are ninjas, snipers, rocket launchers. And by the way, the game costs $2 if you want to purchase it. The graphics are very nicely rendered and the traps become more complex as you progress. This is the flamethrower guy that I just killed. The game can be bloody when it wants to and it can be hard when it wants to. It usually is not that hard, so frustration is not an element you'll have to deal with. Okay, yet another checkpoint and another guard to kill and the traps got me. Be careful when you're jumping against those spikes. That was one crazy stunt. 
ok trying to stay away from the flamethrower and the spikes at the same time it can get a bit frustrating if you really have big plans about taking all the orbs and completing the game by the way you saw another special move so there's this one when we can fly around and there's this one where you simply dive down into the ground and break some ice or something the game is called shadow blade i'm running it on the ipad mini and i'm having a blast it works like a charm there is no lag it costs two dollars and I love these traps and combos and everything you can do in this game because it's a classic platformer, it's an instant classic that is too easy to finish which is my only main complaint we give it an 8.3 out of 10 here at tabletnews.com played it on the iPad mini, had a lot of ball and it has fluid movement, it's basically parkour with swords and nifty traps that's it from tabletnews.com, bye bye